maybe. I don't know. Je hebt toch rij, je hebt toch rij. Are you ready? I am, let's go. Ik dacht dat je wat hier doet. Or is there something you want to say? <coughs> the three has been hindering Situs operation. W what? But why? Because mm, Grandma made a trap for C2. Because this whole operation is one giant adversity test for C2. Adversity test? Ah, she did explain that to me. So 23 doesn't want Nin to take this test. But that I'm not quite sure. She's trying to protect Nin, huh? That explains a lot of things. But how did you know? She tried to knock Situ out with the Nikolaise last night. What? I presume then that 23 won't be able to join us today? Yeah. What about Lawrence? Does he know? said we should keep the truth for, uh, from him for now. I cannot imagine how Lawrence would process the information. Poor boy. Do you think we should tell him everything? I would rather not tell him if it's up to me, probably. But is that the right thing to do? I really have no idea. Yeah. Alright. That settles that. Did anything else happen last night? Nothing. Good. Let's go then. Damn, you're not stopping, girl. Who are you? Everyone is here. Good. Eh? Not everyone. Where is 23? About that, she is occupied. I occupied today. I will call her back. Emergency mission. But what about our mission today? She left us all the hardware and software we need. The mission goes on as planned. Francis, I need you to take care of 23's position. <coughs> if everything goes as planned, you won't need to do a, a thing. Still, there should be someone managing comms just in case. Leave it to me. Any objection, Lawrence? Ah, no. I'm all good, I think. Friends seems concerned. Now let's move on to today's mission. First, the objective. We must infiltrate the facility in the shortest time possible and find as much information as we can. For that, I will rely on you, Lawrence and Jason. Data acquisition takes time so during the process we may be detected or intercepted. Here is the breakdown of responsibilities. Lawrence and Jason, you two are in, in charge of data acquisition. Cover each other's back while you are at it. I will keep watch and handle any threat. If you attract too much attention, I'll be the decoy. <coughs> And we don't uh, we should decide that before. Yes. Now the infiltration plan. Starting from the breakthrough point uh, point and route. Ooh. Here is the floor plan by the facility recovered by 23. The facility a uh, facility itself is situated uh, beneath Silencio. The floor plan doesn't say much about what each zone is for. But the structure and security measures are clear enough. As to our target, it should be the server room by the common sense. However, as we can see, it's located very deep down and heavily guarded. That makes it impractical target. Instead, we go to the next best thing. The main lab, which is a lot closer to the surface. Be aware that, that our purpose is to find out what this facility is for. In that sense, we don't have to get all the data. I believe the main lab should be everything we need. Now, pay close attention. I will go 
over the exact plan step by step. As you can see, the main lab is very close to the main entrance of the facility, which is good news. My plan is to access it uh, through the main entrance itself. <coughs> by access, you mean take down anyone in our way and break in. I will take care of that. If we do it quick enough, it's still considered infiltration. I will take down all guards and disable uh, security cameras before they, uh, they can sound an alarm. Next, you dis uh, disable the alarm system, Lawrence, in case we miss anything. Roger that. Meanwhile, Jason, you will find a way to enter the lab. Mm, why me? Because you are not familiar with alarm systems like Lawrence is, and we really don't have anyone else on the team. Based on this floor plan, the lab's entrance is guarded by two gates. It doesn't say what kind of gates are they are. Based on experience though, the inner gate should be something of lightweight. People go in and out of the lab all the time after all. Probably just glass panels, easy enough to deal with. But the outer gate should be much sturdier. Kicking, kicking it down is unlikely. However, there must be a lock of sorts on the outsides. Maybe security pass or iris scanner. Finding the key to this lock is your job, Jason. Look for anything that resembles a security pass or pickup researcher that hap I happen to knock out for biometric verification. Any questions? So far, so good. Um. What if there is no visible lock? That could happen, yes. Just in case I have a plan B. I'll bring along some C4 bricks. That should take care of most kinds of reinforced gates. However, using C4 is essentially announcing our arrival to everyone in the facility. Let's keep it a, uh, as a last resort. Correct. If nothing goes wrong, the whole process should take about 10 minutes. What about lab staff? It cannot be empty, right? We could use a researcher or two for quick answers. I see. Once inside the lab, you and Jason plug the decryption device in for the data acquisition. That is basically the plan. Any questions? What, uh, what kind of answers do we want from the lab staff? Since it's a research facility, the lab staff must know what's going on inside. While you acquire data from their computers, I will uh, take a more uh, take more direct approach. Interrogate their people. That way, we may have a grasp of uh, the uh, big picture before delving into the data pile. The plan sounds a bit ruthless. I agree with you, man. Basically, kick the door down, knock out everything that moves, grab the data, and get the hell out. That's one way of putting it. Being ruthless is the intended effect. Don't forget, we must negotiate with vision afterwards. For negotiation, we must show them what we are capable of. We must be direct and loud. And leave a big pile of mess behind so that vision knows we are not bluffing. Otherwise, we, uh, if we uh, just approach them saying we have their secret data, they wouldn't believe it so easily. Meanwhile, we are essentially making a statement that they cannot keep any secret from us. We take it by force if necessary. Also, speed is key in today's mission. Since staying undetected is impossible, we should uh, make it a quick job. Hit and run before they know what's happening. That makes sense. You please go over the process again. No problem. We break in from the front entrance. Take care of the security personnel and camera. Lawrence shut down the alarm system while Jason finds a way to open the labs out the gate. Once that is done, we move on to the main lab. You, Jason, and Lawrence uh, acquire data with a decryption device, get the data, and pull out. I'm all clear. But in that case, how do we pull out? Escape route? The same way that you went in. Speaking of, she hasn't mentioned how we are supposed to go to the facility. Lawrence, Jason, you two take the vision shuttle to the facility. 
Um, isn't that like suicidal? The security system of vision shuttles is weak. We can hijack one shuttle and modify its destination without triggering any alarm. 23 has identified the facility in vision's shuttle station list. It's called Sleeping Guard. Sleeping Guard? Yes, the same name we saw in the flock core data. How will you enter the facility, Nin? I have found a few infiltration paths which unfortunately require very high mobility to utilize. I will get in through one of these paths and neutralize security personnel for you. As to the escape route, 33 has it sorted out. The hijack shuttle will be there waiting for you, for us. Mr. and Lawrence, you two get out by shuttle as soon as we have the data. I will cover you your back and make my own way out when it's time. That is the plan. In, out, not wasting a second. Yes, ma'am. This sleeping guard, whatever it is, means a lot of a lot to vision. I will get to the bottom of it, even if grandma intervenes in person. I'm sure vision has a dirty scheme to hide and it's huge. Damn. Today is the day we will end it once and for all. I've been waiting to hear that the whole time. We will end it once and for all. Lawrence, Jason, here is the decryption device. Ooh. And Lawrence, I need you to pick up some supplies for me. Supplies? From Ivan Zhang, 23 is supposed to pick up today. I sent over two sets of coordinates. One for pickup, one for delivery. You can leave that to me. Delivery? Lawrence must uh, move it to a specific uh, destination after picking up. It's a plasma cutter. I need that to break into the facility. Better deploy in close to the point of entry in advance. I leave the rest to you. <clears throat> what now? Is there any assignment for me and Jason? I will walk you through 23's remote support system later. Sure, no problem. As to Jason, there is something we must talk about. Regarding what's going to happen after today. I made this clear yesterday. You must join Owl a lot sooner than expected if you decide to do so. You are now beyond the point of no return, Jason. The same applies to you too, Francis. Your fate was sealed when Miss Yeh sent you the hard drive. And I believe I am partially responsible. We are all responsible, more or less. Perhaps. Whatever happened next, Jason, you will be dragged into our world. There is no going back. Chameleon said something like that, too. In this world, you cannot trust anyone. This is the first lesson my mentor taught me. Stay alert, question everything, distrust everyone. Ever since that, I have never really trusted anyone. I had no ally, no friend. Frankly, I hate myself for heeding his teaching. But reality shows me that he is right over and over again. 423. I always wanted to turn the situation around, no matter what is the cost. This gun is from my old mentor. Taurus M85. Fires old style ammunition. You could call it antique, states. It used to be his sidearm. I didn't know about his existence until one mission when we were trapped in the basement. Outnumbered, heavy blood loss, out of ammo with only one door between us and them. He took out this gun that was the first time I ever saw it. It has secret weapon, his last resort. Then he handed over to me, told me to cover him. For this moment, I trust you with my life, he said. Absolute trust, that is what this gun means to me. And that's why I will pass it on to you sometime down the road. We just met not very long ago. We hardly know each other. What matters is that I trust you and hope you will trust me in return. I'd like you to take over this gun when the time comes. It doesn't mean any commitment. You are free to doubt me going forward. It's just that for that particular moment, we trust each other with our lives. She was looking at me expectantly. I hear. 
I'm bringing this up because that moment is very very close or so I believe as to whether or not to take the gun is entirely up to you trust each other with our lives don't you think Lawrence deserves this gun more than I do? I have another one for Lawrence my own sidearm the last thing I want is to re restrict Lawrence with my old mentor's teaching I am not him I want to be I want to do better to go out and trust people and not expecting any trust in return Lawrence is my apprentice I want him to take after me although he may or not want to I really don't know am I seeing things or what is Sito blushing a little friends look in this way last of all do you still have that stun grenade Jason I do they forgot to take it back yeah, I do. Good. You keep it. It's extremely powerful, capable of disabling our issued devices. I mean, I will need to use it on our agents. I mean, you may need to use it on our agents. It's your final free safe, capable of getting you out of basically any situation. Keep it safe. Okay, time for you to go. Lawrence has delivered the supplies. Meet him in the subway station, Francis will let you know when the right shuttle arrives. Get going unless you have questions. Hey, hi friend. Jay, I... I guess this is how the world works, right? Just keeps moving, always forward and for, uh, for good or bad. Love is kind of the same. Nothing lasts. There is no such thing as sweet, quiet life. I think we will find it. I just want you to know that. You don't have to stand up against everything. You don't need to. It's not the end of the world if we cannot get our old life back. Everything moves on. The world, you, me, we all do. Changes are not necessarily bad. Promise me. Don't try too hard to dwell on the past, will ya? Are you worried about me, friend? I am. Whatever happens today, Jay, just do what you think is right. Believe what your heart tells you to. You can do this. Hell yeah! Just my name. <laughs> See you later then. Oh, see you later. Nah, that was a camera too. It's uh, fucking weird. Oh, let anything on Jason die. Miss Chang. Oh, that was a much better. Check up in third person. Perspective, no way. At this suspicion. Nanti dia terkejut dan macam push. Aku bukan cakap dengan Jason ke? Ha. Aku terangin nak tekan tapi you know Maybe later Kalau habis nanti aku sambung balik main lah Tapi daripada different chapter Oh, wow. Metro one pay. Metro. Hey, Jason. Hey. How do you feel? Nervous? Nervous for a uh, little bit. Aha, me too. I owe you a thank you. Thanks to you, I have found the answer that I spent so much time looking for. You mean our talk last night? Yep. Actually, I didn't sleep much last night. There was a lot to think about. But now I have it all figured out. I mean, it's not like I'm suddenly not hitting vision or, or flop farming anymore. 
The point is, I'm now feel, uh, finally seeing the big picture. If I really want to do something for the world, a degree of detachment is necessary. Between helping specific people and helping people in general, I must think for the long term. In other words, think like Ning, right? Hmm. Aku tak pasti ya. Right. And tell that he has found his direction. That's great. Hello, Lawrence and Jason. Do you copy? Copy. I'm passing a message for Nin. Stay put when you get off the shuttle. Wait for her signal. Just gonna neutralize security guards first. What kind of signal? He says you will know when you see it. Oh, your shuttle is arriving soon. Watch out for other passengers. Don't let anyone else abroad. Roger. Comms will be cut off since the shuttle goes down deep enough. Before it emerges on the other end, you will be on your own. Hey, Asuka! Hey, brother! I'm not going to Hey, say hi, kawan. Ya dem. Sudah datang ini kawan. Aduh, lama tak nampak. Bulan madu apa bulan ni? Oh, gila. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Asal ada kawan yang sebut sikit. Main game pun dah jarang. Oh yeah, the worry we can handle ourselves, friend. I have no doubt about it. The shuttle is coming. Action time, guys. Show time. Hmm. Back before you know it. Hmm. Listen, that as cool as ever. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's go, guys. Main game pun jangan jarang eh. Tak apa, tak apa. Lain, lain lah kalau dapat istri gamer macam aku kan. Aku itu boleh balik rumah main terus game. Ha. Tak tunggu lah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Kau pun tanya lah Suka Ooh, Kat mana ni Damn. We are in In the movies This is where we find An army of security guards And <laughs> Yo kena tembak baik Yo Mati dah I see that shit was here And then they are gone Ha huh. Let's keep going. Nin must be waiting ahead. Woo, lari. Let's go, guys. Oh, yo. Yes, sir. Lawrence. Mirror the dance. Thank you for the subscribe. Sebelah bulan ni apa kering. Kau balik-balik rumah terus kena kemas rumah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Siapakah pembunuhnya? Ni ada penyiasat. Dia terkonen song. Ten 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 Eh bukan tu Yu-Gi-Oh silap <laughs> Aduh eh Okay Perfect timing I just clean the place up I need last Last apa Last chapter actually She wiped out all these people on her own um, What's next? Listen carefully A patrol team will show up in approximately 5 minutes I must intercept him Lawrence Him Nak lawan dengan tu ke? Apa chameleon? Break into the security room and disable the alarm system while I do that. Oh pun nak suka apa ni? Tak sekali lagi tas ni ah. Semoga apa ni? Urusan apa ni berumah tangga dipermudahkan. Apa ni kalau ada masa nak main game bagi tahu ah. Eh. Tak boleh main game tu kereta. Parti ni mah ada mode baru ah boleh main racing pula. Tapi tu aku tak ada game tu. Tengok sale kot Kalau sale dia Biru Apa Discount dia kalau biru Aku boleh Break into the security room And disable the alarm system While I do that Yes ma'am So dia pergi Disable the alarm Just yes, see that control panel dah It controls the gate To the main lab As I said during the morning briefing Your job is to find some way To open that gate Should I start? Search these people or die else. Could be some form of ID card or biometric verification. Now hurry up. Get it done by the time I come back. Roger. Good. 
enough talk. Move. We don't have much time. Let's go. Container. Ivan Lee, Steven Jane. Okay, jump up ni. Uh, search. They're not Zhao. There is nothing. Again, which is a security pass. It's just denying. Okay, it's not a security pass. Okay, and maybe it had an ID card. Guess any. I even the mercenary with a select authorized command. Uh, open research center again. So center under lockdown. Overriding. Processing. Yeah, okay, well done. How's the gate going? Um, looks like taking its time. Much longer does it need? Authorization verified. Do you wish to open the gate? Please confirm. Hold on, Nin isn't back yet. Shall we wait? I'm back now. Open it up. To wait outside. Let's go! Shwing! Oh, sing. 726 degree. Um, shall we? All clear. You can come in now. Let's go. Let's go guys! Get the infiltrate! The lab. There are two consoles there. Plug in the decryption device now. Hey, hold on. What the hell are you doing? Don't mess with it. You could be killed and all you can think of is work. No, of course not. Trust me. You cannot afford to screw that thing up. Hold on, Jason and Lawrence. But what is uh, this facility for? Answer me. Don't tell me you have no idea what you are breaking into. Ha! Ha ha! Really? You don't know what you are screwing with? Jason Lawrence, you can go now. Oh, go on. Wait. As you can see, it's a research facility. And the research is about, hmm, flop generation with exponentially increased efficiency. Does your research involve torturing civilians abducted from the shithole? The shithole? Torture? The hell? Oh, no such thing, I promise. Why would we uh, abduct ever anybody? You did buy children from the shithole. That much is true, but we only extracted some of their chromosomes. It's a non-invasive procedure. Certainly not torture. We need healthy samples. Torturing them defeats the purpose. We are civilized uh, people. There is nothing wrong with collecting genetic information. It's just that using this information for commercial purposes isn't legal yet. Or else, we'd totally do it in the open. It's technically illegal, yes, but I swear we'd never hurt any child. I don't think he's lying. Does that mean Chameleon is lying? This place is a trap. The boy spent an incredible amount of resources to keep this facility a secret. Of course, it's top secret. It's a Red Room's most prominent project. If any word gets out, our competitors will pay billions to replicate or steal our work. I have been living in the lab for the better part of a year. So has the whole team. That's how serious we are. I know a lot of things we do are not exactly kosher. But to the bottom line is, nothing is done against anyone's will. And no one was hurt in the process. That much, I swear. Then explain what you do in details. I already told you, we are working on next-gen technology of augmenting computers with the human brain. You don't look convinced. Considering the skill and security measures of this facility and how hard vision tries to keep it a secret, of course I am not convinced. That's because you don't see the commercial potential of our work. Once done, vision will keep this competition the world is its oyster. Right, there is something you must have heard of. The board is planning to shut down outdated farms these days. But why? You must be wondering. These old junks don't make big money but still turn a profit. How can they afford to get rid of them? Well, because of what we do in this lab. This is where the future of vision begins. We are enough. 
I'm not here for a business pitch. What exactly is the technology you are working on? About that, answer me in details. I see. Let me show you. What the heck? Are these dead bodies? What is this? Is this prototypes of all the iterat uh, iterations demonstrating the progress of our research? Iterations of what? I told you. We are working on a new technology of plop generation with vastly improved efficiency. Instead of hiring juicers, we decided to grow our own brain in the lab. It's a lot cheaper. But soon we realized it's impossible to clone just a human brain. Then we tried to do it the other way around. Clone a whole human. Then start to do subtraction. Subtraction? Cutting unnecessary parts off. You know, we only need the brain. Most other organs are just a waste of nutrition. This is where our lab excels. Mind you, we are not your typical science nerds. We, are, we care a lot about engineering and real-world application. Cost control is a big deal. We must simplify the design. One step at a time, we remove everything that is not necessary for flop generation. Eventually, we got this stable, efficient organic computing unit. Hold on, is he saying what I think he is saying? Fucking hell. Is that a human? Cost reduction comes first. A computing unit must be easy to maintain. By removing all limbs and some internal organs, its nutrition needs is exponentially reduced. Uh, so the bon tangan yeah. Cara bokok pula pula. What the? What have you? The advantage of using a laser is that it can cauterize and ins uh, the incision site, stopping bleeding and sterilizing the area simultaneously. What the fuck have you done? Have you done? You killed him. No, it's not that. Stop it now. Once started, the proce procedure cannot be stopped. Then I have to disable the system. No, if the system stops, it dies. Trust me, please. Fuck. You are insane. Next step, stimulating the brain. Sufficient stimulation facilitates uh, brain growth, creating much, much more neuron cells. After this step, the brain is four uh, times as efficient as a healthy humans in terms of flop generation. Ooh, why it hurts? Ah, I, John Zhang. Did he just speak? These people are fucking sick. Just give it a, st a stable supply of necessary nutrients. If nothing goes wrong, it easily lives up uh, for upwards of 200 years. There you go. That is pretty much it. You are demons. Is he still alive? Of course. And acutely conscious too. Or, it, or else it won't be able to generate any flops. We don't want that, right? Oh, since it's grown in a lab with a massively sped up procedure, it doesn't have time to develop proper sentience. To get the brain working, we give it a replicate awareness of a healthy human adult. What does that mean? We selected ideal active juicers from vision farms and copied, let's say, the memories of them. Then we paste said memories along with egos into these computing units. Replicating memories, is that possible? Wait, that means this thing genuinely believes it's a contributor racked up in a flop farm? That makes it a real human. Inside this brain, it could be a contributor in Silencio's cellar. Allow me to correct you. First of all, this computing unit is not human. Nin! You must help him. He is... 
He is his computing unit, not a man. It's an artificial creation based on human DNA and cutting edge science. You cannot turn it back into hu a human because it's never a human to begin with. You can put it out of its misery. Is there really no other way? <clears throat> there could be other ways to help him. I'll just give him, uh, give him a quick death. Um, don't be naive. What we can do is to end its suffering. Jason, Lawrence, get ready. It's pointless. What? You should see this. Tengok apa pula? <gasps> My God! Aku terkejut tengok banyak wire tadi. Macam what the heck, man? Banyak gila, wey. Marvelous, isn't it? Our work will usher in a new era of civilization. This will power the entire world. There are too many of them. Don't tell me these are all. So this is what Vision has been hiding all along. This is insane. This is not just a research lab. Our operation has been going on for a long time. The lab is only a small part of it, with a commercial flop generation on an enormous scale. Do you know what that insinuates? You can, can destroy this particular computing unit or take it out of the lab and give it sort of a life if you so want. It's all pointless. Can you imagine the political implication of our work? We created a non-human class to exploit out of thin air. Lots of people are biased against the flop farming industry because they believe it's inhumane. Profiting by exploiting the bottom class. This is a big step for humanity. Do you really think you can keep these things secrets forever? Oh, of course not. We are not stupid. This project will be announced when it's time. When it's time, do you really believe the world will ever accept it? Why wouldn't they? Ah, I see. You are the naive one here. What do you mean? What are these? Just machines, albeit made of flesh, tucked away in an underground lab. Why would anyone advocate for them or even care about them? To the vast majority, they only exist in news stories. Do you get what I said, right? People don't care as much about things that they don't see. Maybe they don't want to care. That makes life so much easier. Sweep problems under the carpet and call it a day. Just pretend it doesn't exist, huh? Not really. They put it on our back burner and forget about it. Cannot blame them. Nin, that crosses the final line. These people did these horrible experiments and don't feel a shred of guilt. They have no sense of mor morality at all. You two press in the decryption device, then come over here. Change of plan. I'm blowing this place up. What? This facility is buried deep enough, there won't be much collateral damage even if it gives in. Wait. I must free these man manufactured humans from their suffering. By law, by common sense, by the minimum decency of humanity, this place must not exist. Even with Vision's resources, they cannot hide it from the world. Now we know for sure that Chameleon was lying, there is no adapt to their subjects. Then I have no problem killing every living thing in this facility. No need for negotiation anymore. All Vision needs is a literal strike. You cannot just blow it up. You will die with them. And I'm unkillable. You are extra ruthless without 23, Nin. Think. Why did Chameleon lie? Obviously, he wants you to be here and see this. Then it has to be a trap. I agree, but I am confident enough to beat his trap, whatever it is. I have made up my mind. What should we do then? You two see, see to the decryption device. 
<coughs> we still need all the data we can get for the final reckoning. Then I will start the destruction procedure. This place has multiple warehouses for the storage of combust uh, combustible substances. I will deploy explosives in these warehouses as well as several structurally, uh, structurally critical spots. Once the alarm system comes back online, I will make sure uh, wait, make some noise to keep them occupied. During this time, you will have two op options. One, pull out as planned via the shuttle. Two, go after Shen Yan while the rest of the mercenaries are busy chasing me. Is Yan here? You said you saw the record of Yan entering the premises in the security office, Lawrence? Yes, but... Yen and executives of Vision will know what about our intrusion soon enough. Then they will flee the country right away. Yen must be already on his way out. You have one last opportunity to catch him. I should go now. Here, take this. It's a remote detonator. If you decide to stay, you may need this. What do we need it for? For leverage in negotiation if you get caught. Let us go or else we kill everyone. Exactly. And in case you are not to detonate the charges, we can do it for you. We are running out of time. Think about it while the device works on the data. See you later. Damn. These are the longest minutes of my life. To make things worse, Yen is getting away. Fuck. Jason? Yes. But what Ninja said? I cannot tell what is going on in Lauren's head. But I want to say, uh, stay and get Yen before he escapes. Let's go get Yen. Yeah, cannot let him get away. Now if we really are going after Yen, I am go after him first, Jason. You stay here until the decryption device is ready. Don't forget to take mine too. Aren't we going together? We just know Yen uh, is here, not his exact location. There's a security office nearby. I'm lo uh, gonna locate him through the surveillance network. They will take some time, just catch up with me when the data copy is ready. We haven't triggered any alarm. Chances are Yen doesn't know what's going on yet. Come over when you are done here. There is only one way to the security office. You cannot miss it. See you around. Yeah. Okay. It's really safe to form two teams. I guess it won't be so bad if you join forces soon enough. Anyway, time to check how the decryption device is doing. This looks good. System error. Data copy complete. Access control error. But head researcher logged in. Initiate session. Please select document category. Um, public announcement. Select document. Uh, change of plan. Hello all, this is Shane Yan, CEO of Vision Flop Farming. Project Sleeping God is making an extraordinary breakthrough. Our technology is now generations ahead of our competitors. Thank you everyone for your hard work. However, after carefully weighing the situation, we believe research and innovation is no longer our top priority. As I said, this is because we are now way too far, uh, far ahead in the game. Going forward, research labs will see some downscaling of projects. Please understand that the, it, it does not mean project slipping god is over. We are just temporarily slowing down the pace. Keep up the good work. End of message. Um, be on Ash Alert. So you must know there was a leak of competition uh, information a few months ago involving Project Sleeping God. We were just informed that one of our competitors is actively working to steal our proprietary technology. Please diligently adhere to all uh, security measures and report any suspicion, suspicious personnel. You should that there will be appropriately watched for those who identify the reports and reports itself as pionage and or message select document. Hi, this is Seth Lowe, Deputy Security Director. The first security force at the front entrance will be decreased for today. There is nothing to worry about, just work as usual with, uh, with 
peace of mind and a message turn meeting minutes mm the replication of mind as of now all attempts of embedding replicated minds into computing units have failed none of them could last over 10 hours this is most likely the result of pain and terror which renders the replicated mind unstable the current makeshift solution is the repeatedly override the mind next the selection of appropriate minds as we have found it, the diversity of minds contributes to the efficiency of flop generation. For this reason, we must avoid replicating the same mind, select subjects who have not been replicated before, if possible, end of message. Disposing of flop farms. As the Red Room, we maintain our stance on this subject. All outdated flop farms must go. Project Sleeping God, as of now, needs flop farms as the source of replicated minds. But that demand is well served by newer farms. Outdated farms as such as Silencio do not offer real value. Their juices tend to be uh, of dubious quality too. As such, we call for the accelerated retirement of redundant farms. End of message. Select document. Spending the lossless genetic pool. We have only two simple requirements for the hardware of computing units. One, a pristine brain. 2. A body that supports longer life expectancy Hence, so we need a rich genetic pool of engineer, the ideal hardware for our needs. Moreover, all sim sample is, uh, in the genetic pool must be lossless without being excessively cloned or replicated. We advise prioritizing younger children, ideally below 5 years of age. End of message, select document. So, personal messages, select document, slow upload. Mr. Fu, we have noticed that the upload of research data is abnormally slow for the past weeks. Upon preliminary examination, the network itself seems to be alright. The most possible cause is that research data is being uploaded to multiple destinations at the same time. Please check out your team for unauthorized use of network, such as keeping unregistered copies of communicating with external sites. End of message. We're almost there. Good news, Ray. I just heard the legislation is about to be passed. If so, they are uh, they will finally ease the on-premises security clearance. Maybe you will be allowed to go home soon. End of message. Encrypted message. Please enter the access code. Um, access code error. You have two more tries. Sell the document. Job encrypted message. Ada apa apa lah. Uh, meeting minutes, public announcement. Tak tahu ah. Done. Don't forget Lawrence copy. Is there a recommend category? Is it? Pastor is written on the back side AU06. AU06. Okay. Tara. Um. A. U zero six. Okay. This is code verify opening document. Mr. Fu, time is not on our side. Every passing day gives our competitors one extra sliver of chance. I'm sure you still remember the armed assault a few months ago. Now they are trying everything to get hold of what we have on prof uh, Project Sleeping Guard. 
They know we cannot mobilize too much security force lest we attract unwanted attention. For this reason, Mr. Yan uh, has taken unorthodox measures by hiring mercenaries groups. However, the previous internal test of Project Sleeping God was an astonishing success, our unnamed ally proves. Now that you have implemented connection with their uh, system codenamed Cogito, I suppose the first off premises demonstration won't be very far away. Of course, the specifics are up to you. You are the professionals on this matter. This message is just uh, a heads up. Lastly, don't you worry about Yan's cut off budgets. It's just a puppet of greater forces with no understanding about the true value of Project Sleeping God at all. If you are ever short on the budget, just let me know. We can provide through separate channels. The short sighted shall be uh, shall not hinder the course of history. On the offensive, send the document. M. Okay. So let's go retrieve. It's pretty much done. Now I just need to. You. You. You bloody thieves. It's our hard work. The world is better off without your sick work. You, your boss, my boss. None of you have the vision. <clears throat> I don't have a boss. He's raving. Sleeping God is the future. There he passed out again. I don't have time to waste on this guy, but I can shop with Lawrence. Wait, stop. Is she lap staff? Who are you? You want to destroy this lab? You have a problem? Please don't. You just saw our work for the first time. Shock and repulse. It's not all normal. It was like that when I first came here. Give it more time. You will get used to it. She's passing out. Hmm. No simple. Uh, Personally, I don't think it's that bad. I can give you centuries and it was still wrong. No sane person could get used to it. Not to that. No, I am. Behind this door is the hard work of many, many brilliant minds. So be it, do what you want. You cannot stop us. History is on our side. You will know. She passed out. I don't see Lawrence. Has he located Shin Yan yet? Hey, Jason. How's the data going? Give me the, my copy. I've located Yan. Let's keep going. According to this floor plan, up ahead is... What's up? Nothing. Just keep going forward and we will see. Let's move. We are running out of time. Let's go, guys. 